Okay, should we get started then? Uh, let's see. So I think Enrico and I were going to do a short introduction. So can we do a poll? Who's, who's done a live stream course before? Can someone add that while we're talking? I can add it. So this is a live stream course, which means that um, you don't interact with us directly. Instead, we have this notes document. So there is the Twitch chat. We recommend you don't use that because we don't watch it really closely. We have all the questions here, which means that you can ask anytime. We can come back and answer asynchronously. We have multiple different people here in the background who will be answering the questions at the same time the instructors are talking. So feel free to dump in all your most advanced questions there and we'll answer what we can during the course and in the afternoon we'll go through and answer the rest of them. So this is really a time to answer whatever. At the same time there's going to be a lot of questions there. One common problem people complain about at the end of every course is that there's too much information. I couldn't follow all the notes. Uh, notes is what we call this document here. And for that, well, what we say is if you can't follow the notes, then don't. It's really kind of simple when you look at it that way. We know there's too much there, so leave it. Don't. Um, um, don't try to follow it all and go back in the afternoon, whatever. You can even write your question there and not look at the answer until later. And at the same time, many people feel that this notes way works really well because you actually can ask questions that you couldn't ask before. And there is more interaction than usual. So do use it. If you happen to be watching and haven't registered, register and you will get the link. So it's only for registered participants. And registering does really help us to um, justify the time we put into here because of the number of people we get. This is being recorded. We will see about publishing the recordings later versus leaving the Q&A and writing available. Um, let's see, what else can go wrong? If the stream suddenly dies, that means my computer has crashed, in which case wait a few minutes and I will bring it back up. So that's happened only once during a meeting, I think, because Zoom has crashed. But anyway, something to be aware of. Um, if it doesn't come back up, I guess that means my computer is really broken or the internet is completely down, in which case well, I guess we've got a problem anyway. What else? Um, the notes will always contain updates for how to, um, like where we are. So if you scroll up, you'll see right now we're in a questions mode. We will add in a sections for each page we go to. So you can always catch up again. And here we see someone writing that we were in the intro. Um, what else can happen? A cat can come and visit me, in which case I will turn on my video because that always entertains people. That's what we call the opposite of a problem. I don't know if any other people will have cats coming and visiting them. Um, Do use the notes immediately. If, for example, you can't understand or we're too quiet or you can't see what you need on the screen, whatever, just throw it in there and say, help, I can't see, I can't, whatever. Uh, yeah, with that said, I mean, welcome. So should we begin then? Yeah, maybe I could briefly mention because this was asked that this the core structure in the morning we will have two hours of kind of lecture based and then for those who are willing to try these things and so on in the afternoon there will be a zoom session that will not be recorded so that everyone can freely ask questions 
form groups and then do the exercises together. And a couple of have asked about credits. So yes, it is possible to receive credits and I added some details on the course webpage. And what else? Well, this is kind of the first ever run of this course. So it's more like a pilot of the maybe official run, which will be later in the year, in the fall. So most likely I will send um, anonymous questionnaires and feedback and any sort of feedback you can have, but be as critical as you can so that we can make it turn this beta version into the release one. Otherwise, I think I don't have any other practical details, so I'm happy to pass the voice to pass the stage to our instructors.